It is noon. It is Friday, February 2nd, 2 2. Uh, just feel like today's gonna be a long day of poker. So I thought I would chronicle all of it for you. Reasons I wanna hit Bally's, which I'm in right now, Bell, Venetian, and Sahara. I'll tell you the reasons as I go to those places first. Parked in Bally's, so I guess I'll start in Bally's and might even start with a voucher drink. <laughs> Played a couple hours here, gonna go to Bell. A couple reasons I wanna play Bellagio. Uh, one, haven't been mixing it up a lot lately. Been playing a lot of Bally's since I've been back. Gonna mix it up a lot today, although I think I will end here at Bally's at like 4 a.m. or something. Don't hold me to it though. I call a lot of audibles. I didn't film on the walk into Bell like I planned to tell you the reason I wanted to play there. I'm leaving now. Uh, time at the bottom. 540 or something. Uh, I'm gonna meet Herbs and Rye. He's in town at a uh, Venetian. But anyway, my Kansas friend is coming into town for uh, March Madness. I told you that it would be nice to have a couple of buffets worth of comps at Bell. Probably will spend at least one, maybe both days of the first round of the college basketball tournament. Just uh, like cooking steak and eggs in the house, watching the games. But when we do come to the strip, it will be nice to uh, have a couple nice meals covered. So trying to play 55 hours at Bell between now and mid-March. I have like six, six and a half, seven weeks to do it. I don't really like playing there, so that's a taller order than it might sound, 55 hours there in the next six and a half weeks, but I'm trying. I got a two and a half in today, so I'm not at zero. But I'm gonna walk to a V. I'm gonna stop at Harry's, get something to eat. Haven't eaten much today. The plan with Herbs and Rye is to uh, play Venetian. If it's great, that's cool. If it's not, and we see a game going on Poker Atlas at uh, Sahara, then head to Sahara. Really love giving Sahara a shot, but can't really do it on days that are not Friday and Saturday. Today is a Friday, so it is a possibility. Was gonna get a burger, but the line is really long, so I got a heated caramel pretzel topped rookie. Rookie is a combo of a brownie and a cookie. Look at this. Seen it for a while, a few months on the menu, haven't gotten it yet. I am gonna eat it right now and then head to Venetian. Herbs and Rye is on his way. The poker room behind me, literally, you see the sign right there. Funny and Bell, I didn't mention this. A guy asked me at the table if the uh, chicken sandwich at Snacks was any good. I said, no, last time I got it, it was all breading and bun. You couldn't even like tell there was chicken involved. And he said, that's weird. He just had the tenders the other day and they were good. And we, uh, I suggested order the tenders and ask for a roll and make your own sandwich out of it. And that's what he did. So the food runner, his first language is in English, I don't think. So when the guy said he wanted two rolls to make two sandwiches, the food runner kept asking like, like two halves? Like you want one sandwich, two halves of buns if they're even gonna give them to me? And they went back and forth for a long time, whether it was one hamburger roll or two. Eventually, Snacks was willing to do it at no extra charge and he got one. He got one full hamburger roll. He didn't put the sandwich together while I was still there, but he did receive the order and everything was in there. So that's cool. So if you wanna do that, if you're gonna be in Bellagio and you actually want a good chicken sandwich, order the chicken tenders, uh, C2 from Northern Minnesota, said they're very good, and just uh, ask for some extra bread and make your own sandwich because the actual chicken sandwich is pretty poor. All right, it's like nine, maybe, whatever. Time's on the screen at the at the uh, monorail platform going north to Sahara. They have one game going. Played like two and a half, three hours at Venetian, and this isn't stopping. This is just like last year. Uh, that video I filmed about every terrible thing that's been happening since I got here, I didn't film that too long ago. I think it's I think it's uh, quite a few days since publishing that video and publishing this video that you're watching right now. It's not that many days ago in real time for me. Yesterday, I lost uh, two. I lost two pair to flush and set to straight. And today, uh, just at Venetian here, I lost two pair to straight. And it's just, I either. It's just every single hand. It's. Uh, it was just like this last year. And eventually, it stopped. But uh, it was like the third time in my life things went that terribly, and now it just like happens nonstop, and it's been like over a year. Uh, pretty much if I hit the board, my opponent has absolutely nothing, and has the easiest fold of all time, and I make like 
or my opponent hits it harder and I lose like half a stack or a full stack and it's just not stopping. It's been like, I don't know, 60 hours of this and it just keeps happening. So I'm going to Sahara if they have a game going, at least it'll be fun. Venetian was mildly fun because Herbs and Rye was there, but the rest of the people really weren't that fun. So uh, yeah, still gonna play. Really wanna leave and just like watch YouTube videos for the rest of the night, but I'm gonna keep playing and see if something good happens at Sahara. And full disclosure, uh, I did win a hand. I did win an all-in about two, three days ago. Uh, I had top two pair, stacked two people. The thing is, just like what I said in the other video, those two players combined to have about $200. So if they have between 50 and 100, I have a chance at winning. If they have 250 or more, the absolute worst thing imaginable, the absolute worst thing imaginable is gonna happen to me. So hopefully at Sahara, I'm really just like dreaming about a session where I avoid the worst catastrophes uh, that can possibly happen and I break even. Like at this point, that would be like quite the fantasy come true. All right, leaving us Sahara. Played 10, 11, 12, about three hours. Herbs and Rye is right next to me. He, uh, uh, I didn't really get that on camera. He is gonna drive back to where he's staying. I'm gonna take the monorail back down to Bally's. Continue my day. Not a great day in terms of profits, but I have over 10 hours. It's been a long time since I played a 10 hour day. It must be like November. So, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> if you want. I guess that was it. All right. Uh, not much to say on Herbs and Rye's part today, but maybe another day. All right, it was a small loss at Sahara, which feels like a win at this point. Uh, I got there, they were trying to open a second table. I didn't think it would go. And then very quickly, we had two full tables. So it was a good night at Sahara. There was a guy who lost a very large pot and just started like opening for 50. Of course, I didn't get a piece of him. One guy just got his easiest double up of all time, was Delt Kings, made it 135 pre-flop, went all in on the flop, had Kings, was ahead the whole way in hell. Uh, not much happened for me either way. So I'm headed back to Bally's and uh, that'll probably be my last stop. It's been, it's been quite a while. I mean, I left my Excalibur room like 14 hours ago. So we getting a lot of play in. Not many uh, hands going my way, but getting a lot of hours and not much more I could do than that. It's like it's like 5 a.m. We're down to the last table at Bally's and my new friend, 49ers fan, has something to say. How's it going, guys? Positive vibes. We got a $20 room, which in seven days is going to be about $1,000 probably because I got a little sweet for 30 bucks. So might as well have some fun. Hopefully the Niners win. Great times. Follow this page and uh, the trooper's not here anymore, it looks like, but he's going to take over. The next one. I'm taking over. There you go. Do it. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap on today. It's about 5.30, exact time at the bottom of the screen. And I played 13 hours, 37 minutes. Pretty sure I lost 104. Not a bad result, given where I was after uh, that Venetian debacle. And yeah, Friday. I think I turned on the camera first around noon, and now it is almost 6 a.m. So there you go, a Poker Players Friday in Las Vegas in February, year 2024. And uh, that's it. In the future, I will have more videos.